Welcome back to the channel, it's TechBot here, and in today's video, I'm going to be telling you the best Minecraft mod pack to play with friends on 1.16.4, so let's get into it. And if this video does help you out by any chance, smash the like button and subscribe so you don't miss out on the latest and greatest Minecraft news. So if you guys are wondering what exactly this mod is, the mod is called Valhesia 3. I am using CurseForge to play it right now, so if you download CurseForge, you will be able to play the mod. This mod does is it expands off of vanilla Minecraft on the version 1.16.4, so you still have all the nether update stuff, but it also adds plenty of new mods, plenty of new mobs, biomes, cave features, end features, nether features. I'm gonna be showing you why you should be using this mod when playing with your friends. It's a really good mod and I think everyone who plays it could definitely enjoy it. And it's something that isn't that hard to really get used to because it is pretty similar to vanilla Minecraft. If you're looking for a mod that isn't too intense but also adds a lot to the base game of Minecraft, this mod is really good. There are only six pages of mods in the creative tab, which means it's going to be simpler than most mods, but that's not a bad thing. This combines all of the best 1.16 mods into one big mod pack, and it allows for a great vanilla Minecraft-like experience. So this mod is really just meant for spicing up the base gameplay of Minecraft, but it does that very well. So now I'm gonna get into all the amazing features. So obviously with any mod pack, there are going to be new biomes, and this mod pack has biomes of plenty, meaning there are a bunch of new biomes from new deserts to new forests to new mesas to new anything really. There are also nether and end biomes which we'll get into, but I'm gonna be showing you a few of the biomes here. They really, really add to the Minecraft experience. All of these biomes really, really, really add a new unique flavoring to the base Minecraft game. So if you're looking for more exploring in Minecraft, this mod is a really good mod. But the biomes don't just stop in the overworld. They also go into the end and the nether. As you can see here, these are just some of these simpler nether biomes that have been added in this update. And personally, I'm really happy about this because I feel like the nether update did not deliver us enough biomes. Even though they're simple and small, they make a big difference. This mod pack also does add one new end biome, which is actually really cool and has a bunch of unique plants and mobs and wood types in it and makes the end overall much more exciting to explore. And once you beat the Ender Dragon, there's actually something to look forward to besides the end cities. And you're basically getting the mountain update in this mod pack from the Caves and Cliffs update already because the mountains are much improved upon in this mod pack. Caves have also received a slight upgrade in this update, adding stalactites, stalagmites, new cave generation, new cave biomes, and a bunch of new ores. Personally, I'm a really, really big fan of what they did with the caves here. You can see all the stalactites and stalagmites added. And also, as I go around, there are new ores that can be used for new weapons, new armor. And then there are also ones that are like copper where they add new functions like telescope. The caves feel so much more unique. Even if the Cajun Cliffs update is coming out soon, this is definitely a good early experience while you wait for that because that comes out all the way in the summer. But it definitely, definitely improves along the cave generation. If I go into the tab right here, as you can see, just looking at all the new armor, there are all these new types of armor and there are even hats too. And if I go into weapons, Look at this, look at all the new swords. New dungeons have also been added and are scattered around the world. And these dungeons, they really do add to the experience even more by just allowing more exploration, just like the biomes, as you can see me walking around right here. Although they don't really have that much to do in them, they're still extremely cool and extremely useful for finding early game loot and an early game base to just live at. Here's another example of the dungeons that are added in this mod pack. And in my opinion, this is something that we really need in vanilla Minecraft. Dungeons, in my opinion, add a lot to the exploration part of Minecraft. And these are really, really cool. And you can even find cool, unique books and stuff like that in here. Like Man Steel Bar, I don't even know what that is yet. Or Cyan Rune. Like there are so many cool things you can find. If I go down all the way here, you can see that the dungeons go up and down. They don't just go side to side. So it almost feels like you're exploring a dungeon from Minecraft. Dungeons 
and this is something that I find very unique and adds to the game a lot. Although this mod does really advance exploring, it also really advances the mobs. Here are some of the new mobs. They look really cool. They go from adding new flying mobs to new factions, like new forms of pillagers. They even add skeleton villagers, which is really, really cool, meaning there must be some skeleton villages somewhere. They even go out of their way to add freaking aquatic mobs. And this is a monster that'll actually kill you. So that looks absolutely terrifying. They even added baby mobs, other things like foxhounds. So new nether mobs, new penguins, and just simple mobs like that. And then there's also big mobs that go in the end. I believe the Booflu and the puff bug over there both spawn in the new end biome. But the, oh my God, if I look up spawn eggs in the creative, you can see all of the default and then there's a bunch of new mobs as well. So guys, that is Valhicia 3. If you guys do think this is a good mod pack to play with friends, please smash the like button. I think it is a great mod pack to play with friends and subscribe if you want to see more mod pack reviews and let me know what you thought of this video down below if there's anything i can improve upon and what did you think about me reviewing mods so guys that's it for today thanks for watching also follow my twitch and discord down below have a great day peace out